Let's see the back in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you don't vote when new videos drop. So, uh, uh, tis the season to be jolly. Well, right now, when this video goes out, it will actually be, uh, was it? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. I really should remember the name of the, the, name of the Jewish holiday. It is, it is Hanukkah, which is, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 we Jews, we Jews often think it's somewhat better than Christmas because we get eight crazy nights. The, the downside is we get eight crazy nights and kind of lame presents, whereas uh, uh, Christmas, you get a big sack of great presents, uh, uh, you know, right under the tree. I always like, plus, plus, you know, you put your presents into sexy lingerie. I, I, I don't know how that, that tradition happened, but, you know, I like it. Does it have to be sexy uh, uh, to a stocking? I don't know, I don't know, but you can use it for both. So, you know, uh, 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 I like Christmas, because that's what I'm trying to tell you. I like a bit of Christmas, I, I like presents. <laughs> Listen, I giving is always great. I love giving, but baby, baby, do I like to receive. <laughs> And I did indeed receive my uh, uh, my Blu-ray box set of season two has arrived. And like all these Blu-ray box sets, it is fabulous. It is fantastic. It is gorgeous. It is the, the the work that's gone into it is just stunning. Uh, uh, it I can't imagine there to be a better presentation of season two. Uh, I had, and I haven't, haven't even got to the reconstructions of the uh, uh, the Crusades episode. Was it? One and three, I think, or two. The two, but the two missing episodes from Crusade, which I love. I wish they they they, they would animate that. So, uh, 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 yeah, look, this is a bit of a thumbs up. I don't know what they're going to do for the, uh, the rest of the black and white seasons. They got so many episodes missing, right? I mean, the Troughton ones, they they reconstructed most of those ones, but they 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 stopped doing it. We like one story shy of every season, and then you're missing Marco Polo from season one, which is really quite important. I mean, I honestly. I would love to see some kind of reconstruction of Marco Polo like they did with, uh, 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 what was it, Dalek, um, uh, Dalek Master Plan, no, Mission to the, the Unknown, the, 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 the prelude to Dalek Master Plan, you know, with David Bradley or Stephen Noonan as the first Doctor. I would love to see that, right? That would be awesome. Will we ever see it? Who knows or dares to dream? Like, you know, there's so many crazy things going on. Who knows dares to dream? But this, this seems to be the time being the only uh, black and white season they could really effectively do. And we've got quite, quite we've still got a few, few colour ones going, but it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I do an unbox, I did an unboxing last night on my, uh, on my live stream. This video is going out on Sunday. This is a tough time of year for me because I have to decide early when these videos are going out. Why? Because I put these little candles in over here so you know uh, 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 what day of uh, 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 Hanukkah it, it is. It, you know, I just like adding them in. You, know? I, I, you, may, you may not know this about me, but I'm a bit Jewy, right? I'm a bit Jewy. That that could be said that's me. Anyway, anyway, so we're going to get in the boxing. Uh, uh, towards the end of it, Dan joined me, right? Dan joined me uh, uh, from the, the Spacebook. Fantastic channel. You see me try and speed up the review, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I slow it down again, and I uh, 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 bring Dan in for his... Uh, 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 for his commentary, which is always, always good, which is why I like Dan coming in. By the way, uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's great. They also, they, they, <laughs> I, I, it's not a good idea to be plugging other people's channels, but that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, after I did the stream last night, right, I, uh, um, when, when uh, you know, I'm always like exhausted, like, go and get something to eat. And then, as I finished, uh, 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 the uh, the Facebook Christmas party stream started, and it was awesome, right? If you haven't heard that, it's it's a real recommend. Okay, it's a it's a, if you never heard, heard, heard those uh, those streams, it's last one of the season they're doing. So uh, I hope it comes back soon. But it was really really good. Okay, really. If you haven't you haven't subbed over there, please subscribe over there. If you haven't subbed over here, subscribe over here. Which is the point of this little introduction. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are fantastic. Fantastic. And tablets. Oh, they're the most wonderful things you can do. And yeah, you know, you know, it's a peace on earth, goodwill to all men. Hit the subscribe button. I think that's a good way of doing that. Yes, I would agree with you. Peace on earth. Hit the subscribe button. You'll feel good about it. You'll feel like Scrooge on Christmas morning. Oh, I feel light as a feather. Hit, you know, hit the, the, the subscribe button. It, it could work for you, baby. It can work for you. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, if you want to be feel super great about yourself, sign on my Substack. My email newsletter goes out every day, lets you know about all my content. It goes out every day because all my content goes out every day because I am a, a, a content uh, a content <laughs> a content producing stream a stream machine machine you know 
things would be much easier if I like thought about anything I was going to say the moment before I said it. But no, that's not going to happen. Fine, like, share, subscribe, comment, sub, say Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Hey, kids, I'm on the Instagrams now. Uh, I quite like being on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Follow Dan. Follow me. Facebook. Yes. Yes. It's Christmas. The season of goodwill. So let's let's, let's, let's look at a toy. Right? Let's look at a toy. And boy, is it an awful toy. Let, let me hand over to me from last night. I think the time is here. That glorious time. Yes. Yes. For this season two unboxing. Yes. Because this beauty is gorgeous. Right? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, uh, I am assuming. I am assuming there's uh, there's some enterprising chap is going to make some uh, uh, stickers you could use to uh, by, by, to c comes out this little box thing. If you've never got that. so yeah, this little box thing is, this is like for the shelf, like at, at the store. It tell it, it so it tells you what's on it. What I normally do is when I uh, make 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 my own covers, which are uh, uh, over there. You can see them over there. So what I normally do is I scan the back. And and you know, airbrush out yeah the awful the, the airbrush out the awful logo obviously uh, uh, and, and and put put the good one in uh, and um, uh, I use this for the uh, the back cover right because it basically has all you know all your information this set is packed like absolutely packed look at this artwork there's so much really beautiful design work going on all the way through these these products are just gorgeous right they really are genuinely genuinely gorgeous so there so the and the the packaging for them is is, is lovely as well so yeah so something that they got to get a a uh, uh a set kit one that will cover over this top and the side right and uh, and so and put the the real logo on but right? just cover that whole thing i think and you'll be fine right and then yeah and then another another one for over here Another one for over here, right? I think this. I think some enterprising chap is going to come up with that, and it's very easy to produce, right? So let's say so we open it up. Let's have a look at the cover illustration, which is uh, again. Oh, look at that! This is a great season, by the way. Bit of zombie over here. Kilcurran Space Museum zombie, uh, uh, and I do like how they use this. Uh, they like photoshopped in it. This looks like several pictures of uh, uh, Hartnell, uh, yeah, with the uh, uh, the titles, the, the titles, Space Vortex in the background, and then the back cover is uh, I mean, again like, okay, that's from the chase. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Oh, man, I love that. Freaking awesome. Okay, so then you open it up, and, and honestly, honestly. I can't imagine uh, uh, Megan Fox at her prime opening her legs being being, being any more beautiful. Uh, we open this up. Oh, oh, and I'm talking, you know, yeah, lingerie, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, open this up. Oh, oh. Uh, and we see see the packaging. So here, this is the first thing. Oh, look at this great, great piece of design work from um, Dalek Invasion of Earth. I love that it. it's forbidden to dump bodies in the in the uh, in the river. So then, oh, look how gorgeous this is! So the next bit is you open this up. So yeah, you, oh man, I and mean, again, so freaking gorgeous! Such a great design. Which are now scrunching down, trying to get it to work. Ugh, doink! So I can demonstrate it to you. So then we open up, doink! Oh. Again, it shouldn't make quite quite this erect, but it does. It does. There's a bit of time space visualizer. I found that it's right here. A bit of time space visualizer. Look at this. I love the circulars. It just it all works so incredibly well. Really, really fantastic work. So then you open up a bit more. Yeah. Uh, and you get you get your little booklet. Take your book out, and uh, we'll look at the booklets in a second. And you get, oh, look at that console room. Man, I want to, like, scan that, print it out, and put action figures in front of it. That is gorgeous. Oh, man. This Again, I, I, I appreciate a bit of good design well done. <laughs> it really is. This is a bit of good design well done. Fine, let's look at the uh, the, the booklets. I think there's the your basic Doctor Who. Uh, uh, more exciting products from Doctor Who. Let's see what the more exciting products are. 
You can get books with a shit, uh, uh, a shitty uh, uh, logo on it. Uh, Doctor Who Demon Quest again, still with the shitty logo. Uh, that's one of the Tom Baker ones. Ah, it's okay, I I don't know. They weren't very Doctor Who-y, as I recall. Right. Uh, hang on a second. I just got an email about the show. Do I? But I bought that, didn't I? Show now streaming on Prime Video. That's interesting. But but I think I own it. Right, I think I own it. Uh, let's see what let's see what's in the uh, uh, the booklet. You can oh a bit big finish. There you go. Stephen Noonan uh, uh, makes it into uh, uh, the uh, season two video. <laughs> right, what was it right uh, uh, here? Thank you. Uh, and then. Uh, some comics from Titan that nobody, nobody's going to buy or read. Download free comic, free, free comics. Nobody gives a shit, but they don't want to do that. Uh, uh, buy this game now! Yay! No, I don't give a shit. Uh, uh, season 2 audiobooks. They're probably quite good. <laughs> uh, I think I have a couple of those. I'm not sure. Who else we got? So we did Demon Quest. See what else they got in here. Uh, uh, Go to the escape unit. Oh, no, close down. Bye bye. Time, never mind. Uh, Worlds of Wonder. That's where is this now? This is uh, now it's in Scotland, Edinburgh. Oh, I would like so close to that. <laughs> yes. Doctor Who magazine. We're not shit anymore. Look, there's no Jody. There's no Jody. Buy some merchandise. There's no Jody. I know we still got the logo, but you know, it'll be gone soon. Food and Planet. Goodbye. Uh, 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 and uh, stories. Fine. Let's have a look at the booklet. Again, a, a stunning, stunning piece of graphic design. I just love this. At the back, you have uh, uh, all the uh, people involved. Okay. So, again, these booklets are just beautifully, be beautifully put together. So, uh, uh, yeah, again, you, you, we, 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 we've seen a lot, lot of these stills before. But again, I like they have this uh, nice little, little overview as you go in. And uh, is that illustrations or Planet of Giants? Bit bit of a weird opener that one. That that's the script they said been knocking around for a while, and they're like, yeah, okay, finally. Uh, uh, and they all enjoyed doing it. They just thought, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it, it's a bit naff, isn't it? It's a bit naff. Uh, but they did like being in like the giant sets, right? They thought they all thought that was a lot of fun. Next up, Dalek Invasion of Earth. Daleks conquer and destroy. Mm, you poor pedic fools. Don't you know they'll destroy all life on Earth? Ah! Uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth. So we got lots of stuff in that. Um, Dalek Invasion of Earth, you have. Oh, yeah. This is really good in Dalek Invasion of Earth. You got the I forgot we should go the the, the features on uh, uh, Planet of Giants as well. Uh, but Dark Image of Earth has updated special effects and they are very 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 good. Right here, you know what I will? I think I can show you a tiny clip, right? Because I know because I maybe I started ripping it already <laughs> onto my hard drive. Uh, so we go. Did I move it or not? I did. Um, yeah, okay, so this is. We'll show you the original effect first. Yeah, got it. Okay. It's about 16 minutes in. Getting close. Oh, here it is. There you go. That's the original effect. Which is, and again, it's charming. It's, it, it, it's charming. This is how long in? 16, 11, right? So, uh, um, but I feel it takes you somewhat out of the story, right? I like to get immersed into the story. So here, so this is the um, uh, updated effect. One second. So this was done for the DVD a few years ago. Here we go. Mm. 
right? But like, and it, I, you know, they, it, it, they do it in the same style of the day. It just doesn't kind of like jar, like, oh, oh, that all works, right? So I, I, I like those. It, like, you know, you, the, the default is off. I, I always turn, turn that on, right? I, I, I always like that. Um, so you got the order comedy with uh, William Russell, uh, Caroline Ford, uh, uh, was it uh, Verity Lambert? But must be you know, from the archive. Oh, from two thousand three. And director Richard Martin. Richard Martin uh, uh, in the making of, uh, especially the season. I think it's Richard Martin. He is such the archetypal lovey, right? It's so funny. He is such the incredible archetypal lovey. Uh, uh, you know, a BBC director. So, enhanced soundtrack. What's the entire story with newly enhanced soundtrack exclusive collection? Okay, that's nice. I will do. Uh, text making of documentary. That's pretty good. Um, Contributions from uh, Ann Davis, Jenny, Peter Fraser, David, Bernard Kay, uh, Tyler, Nicholas Smith, Wellish. I had no idea it was Nick, Mr. Rumbold, right? I was like, oh, my God, I just read it. It's Mr. Rumbold. Uh, Nick Evans and Robert J. J. Will, Dalek operators, and David Graham, Peter Hawkins, Dalek voices. Behind the sofa, I always like behind the sofa. Behind the sofa is a good way of getting a good overview of the story. Yeah, one second. Let me see if I can pull up, let me pull up the artwork for to look at more detail. Uh, Doctor Who season two blue ray. If you can see it cl closer up here, images. Is there a is there any place where we can? You know, I keep meaning to save the. Uh... Oh, here it is. The blank artwork. The blank artwork was always awesome. I just absolutely adore this blank artwork. Here, one second. And then we go over here. Share screen, share screen. Doink! So let me just, it was, I'll zoom in on that a little bit because it's, it really is so gorgeous, right? I mean, what, what I'm talking about is boring. This is, Look at that! I get I love. I love how it grabs Billy. Right. Oh man. So anyway, yeah. Uh, behind the sofa, you got so you have Karen Ann Ford, Maureen O'Brien, and Peter Purvis in one group, uh, and you um, Wendy Pabry and Sarah Sutton uh, uh, in in the in the well, and also Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton, Janet Fielding, and, and and Wendy Pabry together, I think, and then Bonnie Langford and Sophie Aldred with with the fourth group. Uh, the, a design featurette. Uh, oh, let me stand up. Oh, my God, it's so much better. Uh, what about the design featurette? Designer Spencer Chapman. Oh, again, the the production design on this is crazily good. It is it is just so insanely impressive. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, they make like post uh, post apocalyptic Britain very very well. Script to screen. I look at uh, Doctor Who was recorded in the nineteen sixties using clips uh, uh, and studio plans. Rehearsal film, uh, silent color film from Caroline Ford. Oh, yeah. So she accidentally reused this film, so it's double exposed. It's really bizarre, right? It's very, very strange. Uh, Dalek Voice of Feature It. They got David Graham, Peter Hawkins, and Radio Honic Workshop, Brian Hodges, discussed the distinctive uh, voice of the Daleks, the BBC trailers for the uh, 1964 broadcast. Right, now and then. Uh, uh, that, I always find, find that feature it really, really nice. Oh, I've got some good artwork to show you in a second. Uh, Caroline Ford interview from 2003. Uh, audio archive. Whatever happened to Susan Foreman, which is a weird, weird, weird oddity from the, a radio show about like whatever happened to like people from the 60s, right? So they didn't really know that anybody would be a, like, you know, the other ones like Peggy, or I can't remember. They, they nobody really knew who they are uh, still, you know, there's not a living memory. But, uh, 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 Susan Foreman was still is right, so it's weird. So this is the glue on it. So I think Jenny Asher's play, uh, plays uh, plays Susan, uh, Susan on it. It's it, it's just a it's it's out of continuity. It's strange. It, it put it into a Doctor Who Unbound thing. Like it plays very well with the De Derek Jacobi Doctor Who Unbound, uh, where he plays I don't know, the guy who invented Doctor Who but didn't. I think. Anyway, anyway. So that's uh, uh, what else? What else we got in? in 
Dalek invasion. The okay, there's only one freaking disc. Holy crap! Bad. Uh, uh, DVD intro and Easter eggs. Uh, what else? Fine. Also got here. Wait, wait, wait. Over here. And you get this gorgeous bit of artwork. Look at that! Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. They should actually have the 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 book uh, the uh, the audio book with by by uh, what was it? There you go. The the oh, one second. I ah, that's better. The audio book with uh, uh, as I said, who played who played it? It was it in Chester again. It's uh, come back to me in a second. More stuff to look at. Okay, so pretty good. So let's have a quick look. What was in Planet uh, uh, Planet Giants? Planet Giants just feels like such a leftover story, right? Um, so you get the Arabic soundtrack. So you get. Uh, 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 audio commentary. So it's three episodes, but they get a, you get a reconstruction, I think, of episodes. Um, it was made as a four part one, but the last two episodes were uh, consolidated in, uh, during the editing to make it uh, more pacing. So this uh, special feature reconstructs the original uh, Crisis and Earth to Live. You, you will not have one if you watch both of them. I'm telling you now, mate. I'm telling you now. In conversation, Matthew Smith's also William Russell. That's also about. Oh. Love it! Oh man, that that that's worth a disc in of itself. Uh, audio companies with the uh, sound mixer Clive Dong, dun, 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 dun. Uh, um, special effects uh, creator Brian Hodson, makeup supervisor Sonia Markham, and studio floor assistant David Tilly. Uh, what else have we got? Ma uh, making the reconstructions, and then there was a making of in the here as well. I thought. Making the reconstructions in conversation. Is that making of? I thought there was. But you also get the Arabic soundtracks as well. So there you go. Fine. So after Dalek Invasion of Earth. Is it the Dalek Invasion of Earth or Dalek Invasion of Earth? Let's find out. Uh, the Dalek Invasion of Earth. I thought it was Dalek Invasion of Earth. I, I stand corrected. I sit corrected. Uh, we went to next. Oh, wait a <laughs> Look at this, there's more stuff. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to show you. I'm just too busy enjoying it, right? Okay. Uh, there you go. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like, I like the Cushing movies. There you go with the slither. By the way, as I said, I'm listening to uh, uh, Escape from Reality, the, the war master in the land of fiction. Uh, uh, and I kind of wish that he spent an episode with uh, the Peter Cushing Doctor Who. Oh, the next one's the rescue. That great two part. I love the rescue of the Romans. Right, they this they got this really like fun bouncy. Well, the re rescue is really creepy. I mean, he 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 was sleeping with her, right? I mean, that's basically the idea. I, I assume the cool current. Uh, uh, the rescue, which has on the audio commentary. Um, it, there's something very very creepy about going on there, right? Uh, with uh, William Russell, uh, Chris Barrow, Chris Barry directed. You can tell. Uh, Raymond Kruzak designer. Oh man, the the this this spaceship uh, design is fantastic. Uh, recorded in two thousand eight, uh, Infotex making of documentary with Maureen O'Brien, uh, Ray uh, Ray Barrett who played Bennett. Weird character. Uh, William Russell, Christopher Barry, and Raymond Kruzak behind the sofa. This on all of them in conversation. Oh, Maureen O'Brien this time in conversation. So they must be going to do a uh, a season three because you know that there's a bit of Matthew Sweet with uh, um, Peter Purvis. Right, I, I guess an Alec Wills. I, I guess they'll, they'll be the next one. To, but how, what's missing from season three? Quite a lot. Like season three. Is, yeah, one second. Let's have a look. Doctor Who episode guide. Uh, Doctor Who episode guide. Blink. Um, do, do, do. so season three has in it, uh, Galaxy Four. Well, they, they got that sort of, didn't they? They, they, re, they, yeah, they did a reconstruction of Galaxy Four. Oh, they're screwed. The Dalek Master Plan. I mean, what are you gonna do? 
Myth Makers. They, there's nothing in this one. Crap. They cut the, Okay. Galaxy 4, Mission of the Unknown, Myth Makers, Dalek Master Plan, Massacre. The art they still got. Slash of Toy Maker, a little bit of it. I, I, yeah, apart from the last episode. Gunfighters. Uh, they still have that. Savages. I think, wait, do they have that still? I can't remember. No, I don't think they do. Uh, War Machines they have, right? Do they have the Savages? I think they got... Okay, I'm looking at Wikipedia. They got a little cross by it. Oh, in that case, they don't. Uh, yeah, no, they're not releasing season three in a hurry. Okay, that that would be crazy. Fine. So I, I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he's not on this. But get get that interview recorded here so they get more uh, uh, beautiful artwork. Look at that, lovely. Thing is, I I never know if this is actually artwork or if it's uh, uh, like AI art or a filter or something. Uh, you can't tell anyone. And that's the. Uh, can you see the rocket ship? Oh, my, pick, my camera doesn't really pick it up very well. Hang on a second. No, it's not picking it up. Never mind. Bit, bit of uh, uh, awesome Ray, Ray, Ray Cusack design there. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a making the whatever it was. Next one's the Romans. I love the Romans. Okay, the Romans, if you want to have fun, that is a fun little story, right? Uh, um, that's the one with Nero constantly wanting to shag uh, uh, Vicky, I think, or somebody. Uh, so you've got the order conference with uh, William Russell, Barry Jackson, uh, Ascaris, no idea. Nick Evans, Didius. <laughs> uh, this is my friend, Biggest Dickens. <laughs> Chris and Barry and Raymond Cusack, brought in 2008. Uh, make a documentary with uh, Chris and Barry, William Russell, uh, and discuss the uh, uh, discuss the making of the Womans. Ah, are these are real Womans. Swag and Waffly Satorium. Yes. Throw them to the floor. Throw them to the floor. <laughs> yeah. I, I try and put everything into, into these shows for you. Um, what was it? So behind the sofa, model featurette. Chris and Barry demonstrates a studio recording session using the surviving model of the original sets and floor. Okay, that sounds interesting. That's nice. Um, Dennis Spooner profile. Okay, so oh, the, the uh, writer of that, right? Blue Peter excerpt and a little making of. But here we got some, some artwork. There you go. And uh, yeah, look, you see Ian Barbara, they like the Roman life, right? See that that's a bit about time travel I like, you know. Can we, I, I don't think I mind being in uh uh you know uh, being rich in Rome. <laughs> right? That sounds pretty good. Um the web planet, yeah, man, they didn't care about any limitations, did they? Like, I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna do a butterfly ant war. <laughs> People like okay, on the same budget that we do Juliet Bravo. Uh so the audio comedy is Verti Lambert. Oh, very nice. Uh Richard Martin. Uh, William Russell and Martin Jarvis. I forgot, forgot Martin Jarvis was in it. Uh, uh, I'd say one of the few things they did well in Star Trek Discovery was the uh, uh, the B people. Uh, it was like, yeah, the Zabi done it, not the Zabi, whoever they are, the uh, Monopra done, done well. Infotex making a documentary with uh, Maureen O'Brien, William Russell, Martin Jarvis, Verti Lambert, Richard Martin. John Wood and makeup supervisor Sonia Macklin behind the um, uh, behind the sofa. Behind, uh, uh, audio archive: The Lair of the Zabi Suprema, fifty-six prequel to uh, the Web Planet from the nineteen sixty-six an annual. That's actually pretty good. I think I think it's read by William Russell. I quite like that. Studio clock never saw, don't see the point. Uh, all these things are PDF archives and HD ga uh, photo gallery. Again, I don't really see the, the, the point. You know, why do I say a photo gallery? I got the actual disc. A uh, uh, bit of web plan. <laughs> Look at that. I love a bit of Billy's gruff in this series. Oh, we dare. We dare to uh, fight against the zombie. <laughs> uh, Crusade. It breaks my freaking heart. They, they're not going to animate those two episodes of Crusade, which is my favorite story of all time. So they've done a. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't got up to it yet. But they have. Uh, they've done a reconstruction 
uh, uh, wait, shall, shall we look here? We just uh, show, show show you the discs uh, uh, as, as we were going along as well, because they got the, even the design on the discs is nice. So um, that's the. Uh, had a uh, by the way, one second, sorry. Doink. There you go. That's uh, um, Plant the Giants. Uh, uh, also, the name for the uh, uh, the original script for Star Trek: The Motion Picture. Uh, Planet of the Giants landed. Well, that's one of them. Anyway, so that's uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth. Barbara, how's my hair? Well, my my, uh, I, I'm only going down to my last fourteen cans of hairspray. Oh, awfully good. Um, and then uh, uh, next one is the rescue, and uh, they're like, wait a minute, he he was keeping her alone for some unknown reason. Totally not perverted. Yeah, yeah totally not perverted. Yeah, there's there. Was, there he totally wasn't stopping her as Ken Carlin, right? And uh, bit of Romans again. Look, he's like, well, I think I can get get behind this type of lifestyle. <laughs> um, this I don't remember this at all. Okay, somehow we got a weird inverted Hartnell in in, in white stuff uh, ooh, uh, for the web planet. Okay. And uh, we're up to a, uh, the Crusade, one of my all time favorites, the Crusade. And we'll, 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 we'll just finish going, going through the special features. We're, we're nearly done. The very, very weird, very weird uh, space museum. You know, it, it, yeah, it, that's the best description for it. Very weird, right? Very weird. Ah, but the very awesome. The chase. Dun, 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 I love the freaking chase. Uh, it's just, it's uh, that right balance of Terry Nationist and cartoonist. And rounding out the season, uh, 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 we got, um, what's it called again? Uh, the Time Meddler. Yes, he's like, the Time Fiddler. Who's called the Monk in this? In the, in the uh, uh, thing, he's, 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 he's the Monk. Fine. Give me a couple of minutes. Let, let, let me just fit, finish up. So we got the Crusade. Uh, William Russell does the links to it. We've got a reconstruction episode two and four from the telly snaps. Audio commentaries, exclusive Blue Blue Way on the line is uh, with Bruce, Bruce Grenville, Neil Lambers, Paul Scoots, or oh, Paul Scoots, uh, who also played the part uh, 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 in the episode's recovery. Julian Gargalover, that's interesting, uh, on the uh, Wheel of Fortune. That's from the uh, 2004, I believe. Infotech, Sylvester McCoy links from the Missing Years documentary. Uh, uh, one of uh, uh, John Lee's uh, making money again for the BBC. Looking for David, a profile on David Whitaker, Panopticon archive stuff from conventions, studio clock. What's the point? Telly snaps gallery, PDF, all of them PDF HD uh, archives. Uh, uh, another lovely bit of design. There we go. Ah, uh, space. Oh, fine, we've got how many more? Two, one, two. We have. Three more stories to go, okay? Three more stories, and then, 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 we're, then we're done. Okay, so Space Museum has... Um, you know what? You know what? What? I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling for, for... I'm being foolish. I'm being foolish. I'm struggling because, you know, I, uh, uh, I feel humbled. I feel humbled and, and somewhat uh, uh, made small and, and little because I, I have, uh, 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 you know, a privilege, right? A privilege that, that uh, has, has uh, washed upon me that uh, 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 I have a guest for tonight, right? So I was trying to finish up, but I thought, well, this is crazy because this guest is uh, can add a unique insight. Because this guest, I, I, I want to stress, uh, 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 is no ordinary man. No, he's a man uh, far beyond the kin of most other men because he has pumping through him royal blood, right? Royal blood. Uh, 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 and I think, yeah, I think his input on the, on the, on the these final few stories are, is going to be important, quite frankly. Quite frankly. Listen. We saw Game of Thrones when it was good, right? We had the sexy lady take off all her clothes. Which episode? Most of them. Uh, uh, but this is the one with the red hair who was older than she looked. Anyway, uh, and then she used uh, uh, leeches to get royal blood. That's how we see the power of royal blood. Very, very important. Very important. Uh, uh, this royal blood is uh, 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 get, is, is agreed to join us tonight, uh, and we are elevated by it. But uh, you should know, you should know they are... Uh, 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 fighting against uh, uh, elements themselves, they are uh, uh, a little, a little bit under weather. That's just the dedication. 
right of uh, uh, of this of, of this regal guest. It is of course uh, 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 Birmingham's King of the Geeks. I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm good. Well, I say good. (laughs) I'm here. I'm present. I'm correct. As correct as I'm ever going to be. I'm going to say, I would argue that you're correct, sir. I would argue that you're correct. Now, you you, you two have this box set, am I right? I do. I do. I haven't opened the sod yet. No, I haven't had a chance yet. But it's, I mean, I've just seen you go through there and realised how many of my favourite Hartnell stories, I love the Hartnell era, how many of my favourite Hartnell stories are in season two. And controversially, it's, it's, it's Vicky, it's, Vicky for me over Susan, any day. Are we talking about uh, 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 a favourite <laughs> companion or, or, or carnal companion? A uh, favourite companion. <laughs> Actually, oh, who... Good see, question, I, isn't it? I mean, no, it is a good question. I mean, they're both pretty fit. Uh, uh, they're both pretty fit. Way. Carol Ann Ford has that kind of ever so slightly psychotic glint in her eye, which is usually the kind what, of kind of yeah, bird that yeah. I go for. <laughs> you want that early Susan when she's doing like the whole thing with the hands trying to like understand the beetle, yeah. that sort of stuff. That Susan's more interesting because you, you usually know, that's you, that's you, my you, kind you, of girl. But you know that's when 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 the uh, uh, boundaries come down, they uh, they are wild and crazy. Uh, uh, yes. Although Vicky, very innocent, <laughs> this is going to get me mm. trouble. Vicky is that she is very innocent, so you know you would like to uh, 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 her to be. You know, okay, well, it's got to be a foursome with Barbara as well, then, because we could have. I suspect. You know. <laughs> I suspect that Vicky would make a really mean jam sponge, and you could take her home at the weekend and meet your mother. But uh, with Susan, I suspect you could. You know, she, it's a dirty weekend, isn't it? It's definitely uh, that jam sponge is going to be leased with with LSD if you give it to your mother. <laughs> it's going to be so let LSD and razor blades, right? It's uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, given the choice between the three, I would go for Barbara any day. I think uh, that woman is raw sex under that toga in the Romans. Dear me. True. No, I'm. I, I honestly, I think, I think I'm. I, 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 I want to live dangerously. It's gotta be. It's gotta be uh, uh, Susan. Yeah, it's gotta be Susan. And again, <laughs> early Susan, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Did you, okay, what, do you, what do you reckon about when she comes in with the scissors, though? You've only got to get a little bit too close to the sun. That, that's what. That's what turns me on. Okay. That you're that batshit crazy. You don't know what's going on there. Okay. Yeah, most of most of my birds have been a bit like that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, you got it. You got to expect a little bit of crazy. Oh dear, they're going to can- they're going to cancel us both, aren't they? But uh, well, who cares? You know, who cares? They've done so many times before. Do your worst. Right, right. <laughs> so now we're on to the really weird space yes. museum. That's like it's so weird, right? It's yeah. like we're going to jump a time track, and it's basically they're like, I, I don't know. And now they go to the planet of the buns or something. I, uh, they're they're like. <laughs> <laughs> with the weird haircuts. They're big into these weird haircuts. Mm. So you've got I, defending I the, the museum. Oh, okay. This is a great extra. Writer Robert Shearman defends the often overlooked adventure. Well, that's something I, I want to watch. Uh, yeah. I, 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 like, I like him, Rob Shearman. That'd be Rob Shearman. Rob Shearman, well, he's a normal, he's a normal bloke, isn't he? He's not, <laughs> he's not uh, he just seems like a really normal guy. He just happens to write Doctor Who rather than some right. frigging lunatics <laughs> naming no names apart from Paul Cornell out there who <laughs> just seem to make it up as they go along and say whatever oh, they like. Yeah, they're, they're, things are getting crazier, right? It's not me. Strangely enough, <laughs> things are getting crazier. Uh, Elon's doing an amazing job on Twitter, but right. they are bored out of their minds, the crazy crowd. So they're starting to come up with anything and everything. I mean, it, it is uh... staggering, staggering as they twiddle their thumbs, waiting for somebody to cancel over something they've not even said yet. Maybe they meant it. I don't know. Who knows? we are living in strange so I find yeah. as they're losing power, they're screaming more. That, that, I think that's what's yeah. going on. Have you ever seen that? Remember that bit in The Wizard of, the, of Oz where they chuck the water on the witch and just as she's evaporating, the smoke comes up and, and her arms her arms are sort of flailing up and you see the last gasps. That's what we're seeing from the Jodie Whittaker. I, I, I do think so, and it's what, quite wonderful. Anyway, the audio commentary is Maureen O'Brien, William Russell, and uh, writer Glyn, Glyn, uh, Glyn Jones. The Defending Museum, that sounds like a fun extra. Oh, this has got the Collectibles documentary on it, this disc. But, uh, that's uh, was put together by, uh, what's, the name? what's her name? Emily Cook uh, and Phil, my mate Phil Newman. He's done the art direction on that. Yeah, oh, uh, right, 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 right. Uh, what, What's her name again? Did the watch, watch-alongs? Emily Cook? Emily Cook, yeah. She's presenting it. I think she may have produced it too. Okay. Fine. And then, uh, here, let me, I just... 
The, again, I love the production design they do on these things. The artwork they they, they do is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Second to none. Second absolutely to none. Incredible. The TLC Second. really is very good. It really is excellent. Fine. So the chase. Uh, what, what awesome season! Dark Invasion Mothers and the chase of this season. I know. Uh, um, a chase is bonkers. I love the one with the the, with the where they go to the uh, uh, the, was it the Dracula episode. Well, but okay, the way you understand, they turn out they're, they're, they the TARDIS is ch being chased by the the Daleks, or the Daleks are chasing them, and they have to keep stopping off. So one week they stop off in this creepy horror planet with Dracula there and Frankenstein, and they're uh, and they're all and they're like ah, and anyway, then they, they run away, and then the Daleks show, up, and then they they uh, uh, so, so here's how you understand what's going on. Okay, I've worked that out. It is a uh, high end. Worst world like uh, uh, horror. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Sort. I like it. I like and it. And then it all makes sense. There you go. This is very bizarre. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. On this disc is audio commentary with Peter Purvis, Maureen O'Brien, William Russell, and uh, Richard Martin, recording in 2009. Uh, Infotex, making of, making of is quite good, as I remember. Uh, behind the Sofa, I like Behind the Sofa. Uh, behind the Sofa has. Three, th the three groups are Bonnie Langford and Sophie Aldridge, my favorite group. Um, you had uh, Sarah Sutton, Janet Fielding, uh, joined by Wendy Padbury. I think uh, Peter Davis said, I can't. Oh, that's I, I be can't. pretty funny. <laughs> I, I, I will shoot myself in the face. And then you got um, Carol Ann Ford, Peter Purvis, and uh, what's the name? Vicky. Um, Vicky Actress, whatever her name is. Uh, oh, uh, Maureen O'Brien. Wouldn't it be Maureen great if they got Peter Davison and David Tennant together to do a couple of these behind the sofa? That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be yeah. like, and like David Tennant would be like, oh, this is great. Peter Davison's like, oh my God, what is wrong with you? Because I suspect that, uh, that Christmas, when they all get together as a family, there's some real gold when they put the TV on. I can imagine Davison coming out with all sorts of stuff. I can. I can. I bet it's funny. Uh, so they've got an Ian Barbara featurette, Mechanoids featurette, featurette, Daleks Beyond the Screen, uh, Dalek, uh, uh, the featurette examining Dalek appearances outside of the TV show, including the explosion of merchandise. Oh, it's exploding. Uh, uh, in the 60s, Daleks, Daleks Conquer and Destroy, a uh, discussion of the enduring legacy of the Daleks. Okay. I, I think I remember that from the DVD. That's quite good. Uh, give us show slides. That, that's really good as well. Mary Celeste featurette about good Mary Celeste. Uh, the Wayne and Schuster show, a Dalek sketch from 1965, and all the other stuff. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Another nice bit of artwork. Lovely. Lovely. Fine, hang on. And then we're Lovely finally, stuff. finally, on to... Uh, uh, onto the uh, uh, what's that? Uh, um, <laughs> the time medley. Look, look at that. I, that. I just love that. That's nice too. It really, is. It really is. Everywhere. Uh, let me do the rest of the uh, rest of the booklet. And this one, we look to the back. Fine. So let me go. Oh. Uh, uh, we'll just go with the extras on this. Uh, uh, I mean, this is such a huge package. Who were? Which, which nobody has ever said to me, ever. Oh, sweet. It's such a huge package. Uh, what? This person over here. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you, 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 you know I am your father, right? He said, yes, but I thought you'd want to know. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> the comedy is with Peter Burbers, Bertie Lambert, uh, Donald Tosh, and Barry Newby, the, the uh, designer, behind the sofa. Restoration featurette. I didn't know. It lost 12 seconds. Season two documentary. This is good. I watched this last night. Uh, um, the overview of the season. Again, it's kind of a lot of old wheezy people. That is that is the uh, uh, the drawback of the these old uh, 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 these uh, early. There's a lot of people going, ah, and then ah, we went. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. My name's Sheila Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!